Our next contestant, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Sonia Saulad. How are you feeling, Sonia? Pretty much excited. <laughs> excited, huh? Were you at all nervous this evening? You didn't seem so. No, I was quite calm, actually. That's good. Okay, here's your question. If you had the time and the money to embark on a great adventure, what would that adventure be and why? If I had all the time in the world and the money, I would definitely like to embark on the adventure of actually manifesting love, unconditional love and care and concern to reach out to us in the slums, especially in the countries like India, Nigeria, South Africa, to instill in them the strength, the courage and the motivation to look forward and to have a better life and to be inspired to be up here as how we contestants are inspired standing right here in front of you people. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sonia. Good job. Well said. Our next contestant, please welcome Miss Chris Lowe. Who brought the trumpet? Now, Riz, how are you this evening? I'm good, thank you. All right, this is your question. Which is more important, money or power, and why? Hmm, this question is very interesting. Both are as important, but if I were to choose one, I would choose money. Because with money, you can buy power. Thank you. Thank you. You see, there was this one guy, one guy over there. I think it's all men. It's a man thing. Which is more important, money or power? Power. It's the same with me. You know, at home, my wife is the boss. But I have the last word. And it's, yes, ma'am. Our next contestant, let's welcome Miss Oxy Ong. Hi, oh my gosh, I gotta go up to the first floor. Okay, Oxy. Hi. What is the most pressing problem facing young people today? Why? And how does this problem affect you? Well, thank you for the question. I find that young people nowadays, they are more prone to um, lesser, they are, they are not that well in wealth management as they'll spend on the latest gadgets, the latest technologies, the latest um, fashion, but they are not that good in managing whatever they're spending on. And I feel that teenagers nowadays should better manage their wealth by carefully deciding on the things that, that, that they want to buy. And that um, careful decision planning would help to make, uh, would help them to have a better ex, uh, expenditure and savings. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard it from Oxy. Thank you. And finally, let's welcome Claire Lee. Hi, Claire. You know, I'm, I was, with your name, I was so afraid. Here's your microphone. I was so afraid to say your name very, very fast. And clearly, 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 clearly. You know, so, I, I yeah, have to take my time. often says, um, Clearly, can you speak clearly? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll ask your question as clearly as I possibly can. Quick. The local newspaper just called and they need to write an article about this pageant for the morning paper tomorrow. What will it say? Okay, I was okay. I believe that the title would be um, Miss Singapore World comes from depending who the winner is. And you include details like Girls nowadays, we are more than just looking pretty. We can speak, we can walk, we can groom ourselves. I mean, look at myself. I didn't know how to groom myself, but after this pageant, I have learned a lot and I made a lot of effort to um, be more like a lady. I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but I'm making every single step I can to move towards perfection. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a big round of applause for Claire Lee. Thank you. Well, the next time you see all these girls, all these ladies will be actually biting their nails backstage because the next time you see them, it will be the result.